An engine leak down test can be used to determine the specific cause of compression loss in a cylinder. You'll perform this test when a compression test, whether it be mechanical or relative, finds a weak cylinder. This test will help pinpoint the area of pressure loss in that specific cylinder using a measurement of escaping air. The test is performed when a cylinder is at top dead center. Earlier today we found a weak number 2 cylinder on this 2017 V60. Let's get to the bottom of the problem by performing a cylinder leak down test. Begin by removing all four spark plugs. Next, I'll set cylinder 1 to top dead center. Testing this good cylinder will give me a baseline when testing the problem cylinder. Screw the adapter into cylinder 1 spark plug hole. Attach your air supply and set the test pressure. Connect the gauge to the engine. Take note of the reading. We have 0% leakage. Next, let's test cylinder 2, our problem cylinder. Set cylinder 2 to top dead center. Screw the adapter into the engine using the spark plug hole. Attach your air supply and set the test pressure. Connect the gauge set to the engine. We have a leakage amount of 15%. This confirms our earlier relative compression test. Now, to determine where compression is being lost and what repair the engine might need, we have to find the escaping air. If it's a big pressure loss, you should be able to hear it without aid. Oftentimes in a noisy shop, it can be a challenge to pinpoint the source, so I like to use a stethoscope. Look for air escaping in the following areas. Throttle housing intake manifold, leaking intake valve. Tailpipe, leaking exhaust valve. Air in the crankcase side, leaking piston rings. Bubbles in the cooling system, leaking head gasket or faulty cylinder head. With our problem pinpointed to an intake valve, we now have enough information to notify the customer that a valve or worst case scenario, a new cylinder head will be needed. Check out our other videos for more diagnostic procedures and thanks for watching.